Come, baby. Enjoy this great game. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. And in today's video, we are going to take a look at what we're being told are the text messages between Trevor Bauer and the woman who is saying that he sexually assaulted her on two different occasions. I talked about this yesterday in a video and I had some comments saying, hey, why didn't you show the text messages? I think that's a good point. These text messages do show what she was asking for and they kind of show that it's going to be hard for her to prove that he did anything because she's asking for extremely violent behavior. Does that excuse Trevor Bauer from doing it? Not in my mind because it's a stupid move anyway, like I said yesterday, to choke someone out you don't know very well. Who? <laughs> That sounded just stupid, like it's wrong to choke someone out whether you know them well or not, actually. But I understand sexually there's, you know, different things people are into. So from that aspect, okay, if you know somebody really well, especially if they're your significant other or wife, and y'all are into what you're into, okay, you're into what you're into. That is fine. But I'm talking about someone you don't know very well asking you to do this stuff that's pretty violent, very violent. I understand, you know, obviously Trevor Bauer was into it. We'll see in these text messages, but nevertheless, I mean, you have to know you're a big profile athlete and doing that is just asking for trouble. And, and now he's having trouble. Um, whether this is going to stick as a charge, whether he's going to end up getting charged, going to prison, losing his career, all that. I don't know, but these text messages make me think he's, he's his lawyers have a lot to work with. His lawyers definitely have a lot to work with. So we're going to look at these text messages that were exchanged between the Dodgers pitcher and the accuser appearing to show the woman asking for Bauer to get physical with her and for him to give her pain. The text messages were allegedly exchanged between the 1st, April 22nd and the 2nd, May 15th sexual encounter between Bauer and the woman. Now, quick warning, I don't. these contain some crazy stuff. I'm going to read these. We're going to talk about it, but just a warning here. Could be a little bit graphic here there's some stuff in here that uh yeah i mean i'm not saying it's 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 friendly banter here but it's uh you know stuff you might not be into let's just say that because uh it's pretty pretty crazy um so let's go ahead and jump in and the first uh the first screenshot here this is her here's 100 nose kisses to make you feel better and no pink is so your color poppy so they're just talking having a little conversation oh pink looks good on me huh really compliments your vibe joking around all good and you know the pink socks say stay on while cuddling he says yes ma'am whatever you want this is all fine then she says but off the socks come off when it's time to choke me out thanks you are the best he says you want to go out and he seems to like it she says see that was a game changer tell me more never been more turned on in my life give me all the pain all the pain rawr Really, when you woke up, you were going out or, I'm sorry, really, when you were going out or when you woke up, she says going out to multiple T's. You kind of understand, you know, she's saying that she's super into this. Next screenshot now. She's, uh, she says, now that I know what it feels like to wake up from, uh, though it'll probably just feel just as good to wake up from that. God, you just turned me on so much, he says. Mission accomplished. Now I want my arm around your neck from behind. And what does she say? Do it harder. Yes, ma'am. What else does mommy want? Uh, a couple of slaps and another handprint on my ass. So she wants uh, him to beat her ass. Uh, <laughs> just, just reading it here. Like I told you, I mean, this stuff is crazy. Then for Poppy to tell me what else he wants. Slaps in the face or yes, he says, mm, do you even know what pain is? Uh, okay. And a third screenshot here. She says, I don't know. Try me. Try me. Well, you have to be here for me. And she says, I'll be in L.A. these days. Uh, I have plans already. No bueno. Well, would be a no-go for you as well. Yeah, unfortunately, I have someone in town. So now they're trying just to... Uh, they're just trying to uh, figure out now when... The, when when uh, They're trying to arrange a time, I guess, in place. He's busy. But anyway, they eventually did get together those two different occasions. Additionally, Bowers representative shared with Larry Brown Sports a deleted tweet allegedly sent by the accuser to Bauer in the early morning of May 16th would have been during the second encounter. The alleged t deleted tweet read, Absolute diesel straight down. Uh, you can tell what that says. Kind of energy. Uh, so police in Pasadena, which is where Bauer lives, are investigating the allegations. And, uh, well, there you have it. Those are the text messages. Okay. And you can see some comments here. 
It does appear this woman is a nut job. However, I'm a little surprised that Bauer would even expose himself to this. That's a big thing right there. Um, but, yeah, I mean, what I don't understand is why she went back for a second round after being so disappointed in his treatment after the first time. He's a weird dude and obviously violent, but she's not dealing with a full deck either. All these comments, I mean, I can't can't disagree with. This is um, this woman is asking for all this. He is going along with it. Obviously, he's into it. I don't want to judge people what they're into, but you're a professional athlete. You're a high-profile athlete. You just don't get with someone you don't know and do that kind of stuff. You just That's just, I don't know what to say. It's idiotic. It just is. It just is. And look at, now he's in big trouble, and he's got to deal with this. Now, maybe he'll get out of this. Maybe um, based on these text messages, she was asking for all kind of pain. She was asking for all kind of stuff. It's going to be tough to charge the dude. When you have these text messages, if these are proved to be real, authentic text messages. So there's that as well. But I believe they probably are, and uh, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, right now, those are the text messages. Just wanted to share those because some people were saying in the comments, why didn't you share the text messages? There they are. And I don't know what to say. <laughs> Looks like she was asking for stuff. Now, could he have gone too far? Sure. He could still have gone too far and done things she didn't ask for. But damn, she asked for quite a lot. She asked for some, she asked for all the pain she could get. So, wow. This is not my area of expertise. My area of expertise is baseball, but this is a huge star. This is a huge story. So I feel like I should cover it and give my thoughts on it. We'll wait for more. I'm still not saying innocent. I'm still not saying guilty. I'm still not saying all that yet. We'll wait for this to, to play out. Man, choking people unconscious. I don't care if a woman asked for it. I just don't understand that. So... It sounds pretty terrible, even if even if she asked for it, it sounds pretty terrible to me. But again, I don't want to judge what people are into. I'm just saying, wow. You guys have a fantastic day. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and we'll continue to follow this story. We'll talk to you very soon. When the Giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby. Every time the down. It's bye bye, baby. History's in the making at Oracle Park.